Hi, this is Derek with MostInterestingLife.com and today's video is about interesting people do not compare themselves with other people. In this world there are over 7 billion people and if you're constantly going around comparing yourself to everyone else, it's just going to overwhelm you, It's going to, which is going to lead to paralysis, demotivation. Um, everywhere we go, people are always comparing themselves to uh, what the people around them have, what they're doing, what they're thinking. And for an interesting person, you want to stand out from the crowd. So interesting people know that it's just a waste of time to go around obsessing with what other people in this world are doing. There will always be people that are doing better than you at something, and there will always be people that are doing worse than you at things. And this is just the natural way it is. Again, statistically, with 7 billion people, there's always going to be people doing better with you. And you always, if that bothers you, and you let it bother you that somebody has more things, is better at something than you, it's going to take away from your life, rather than being thankful for what you have. At the same time, there's a lot of people that are doing worse off and lower than you. And if you compare yourself to them too much, you might set your bar too low. Instead of thinking about higher goals, you might say, oh, it's okay, these people are sitting around watching TV every day, these people are eating junk food, and that could you could use that as an excuse for yourself to do, to be settling for lower things. So those are reasons why not to uh, obsess about other people. Bruce Lee had said that there will always be a fighter that's better than you. I mean, you might be an excellent fighter. You might be going around, but there'll always be somebody better than you. And this is a, it's a call to action just to be, to be humble in life, to realize that any, any path is a never ending path. The path to mastery is never ending. And so you should not let yourself get soft. You should always be training to be better because there's always going to be somebody better than you. So, I mean, this isn't something to get upset about. It's, some, it's a, a motivational thing to constantly be striving. Even if you are the best in the world at something, you should always be focusing on reaching a higher level because otherwise somebody will eventually get better than you are. Now, while you shouldn't be obsessing and comparing yourself to others, you can learn from other people. You could learn from their mistakes. You shouldn't... Um, compare yourself in a negative way but in a positive way if somebody's doing is doing better than you you can see what are they doing differently than me this is a great opportunity to learn things and when seeing people that are doing worse than you you might be able to learn from their mistakes and again it's an opportunity for gratitude to realize that hey I'm, I'm doing well in some ways but there's always more growth to, to be had Tony Robbins always says that we're either growing or dying, and we're only really happy when we're growing as people. That's why a lot of people become wildly successful, and then they end up turning to drugs and alcohol because it's they feel like they reached the top and they don't know what else to do. But when people are growing towards something, when they're getting on their way to the pinnacle, is when they're usually the most happy. I've read many autobiographies by a lot of successful people in the world and they always said that the best days when they were struggling and but growing and it was that path that was the most satisfying part to life you should always focus on your own path too. comparing yourself to others is a distraction from your path you should keep your head down your path and I've you know, made a video and post how focus is everything in life and you should focus on that and look up every once in a while just to gain per perspective. Again, just to see, are there people doing a lot better than me? Because that could be a call to action that you need to focus on things a little differently. Again, don't obsess about it, but use it as a way to gain perspective. And again, people that are doing worse than you, that's an opportunity for gratitude. And gratitude makes life more enjoyable and more worthwhile. Probably the biggest reason not to obsess and compare yourself to others is that most other people are small-minded. Their thoughts, their actions, their habits. People are aiming way too low on average, and you don't want to let yourself get pulled into that. 
So if you're constantly obsessing what other people are doing, most likely you'll be thinking way too small. Your goal should always be much higher than the average person. If the average person pulls their their goals and what they think together with the average amount of people, so you end up with an average which is mediocre. And an interesting person does not want to lead a mediocre life. An interesting person will stand out among all other people. So if you're constantly looking what other people are doing, you know, focus is everything. And by doing that subconsciously and consciously, you'll be lowering your thoughts and the way you see it, the world, to their level. So that's another great reason why not to compare yourself to others. Everyone is different in this world, and that's a beautiful thing. We all must live our own path. We all have different goals, likes, dislikes, a little different uh, talents, skills that we were born with, that we pick up. So while you can learn from other people, their, their path is not your path and vice versa. You don't want to get obsessed with their path. They shouldn't get obsessed with your path. A lot of times your paths will cross over, intertwine. You'll be on the same path for a while. But paths diverge too. So be, you should be true to yourself and figure out what is your own path while not letting other people distract you. This is another reason why I think travel is so important. It's If you're living in just one area for too long, you get used to a certain way of being and thinking. And this can often limit you. When you travel, you gain perspective and you get to see how other people live. People that are living, that are more um, proactive or that are better at certain things. You could go to a poorer place and, again, that could uh, give you gratitude. You could also see that simpler way of lives sometimes are better. Or you could go to a place like Japan where they focus on things very differently and a lot of times they could be more technologically advanced in a place like Tokyo and this could be eye-opening. But travel, it sort of breaks the mold that's, the molds that are set in your mind and just lets you see that, hey, there's completely different ways of living, being, uh, thinking about the world and this is a great thing. So again, it's good to get some perspective when looking at others, it's good to learn from them, it's good to get a lot of lessons, but they say in this world you're born alone, or especially you die alone, and you must live your own, tr your own path. Because one of the biggest regrets of people in their lives, at the end of their lives when they're 80 or 90 years old looking back, is that they weren't true to themselves. So always be true to yourself. Being true to yourself will more likely than not lead you to your true path. You don't want to be living someone else's life. You need to live your own interesting life. And that's the beautiful thing about an interesting life. There's so many different things that can make your life interesting. And what that means for you is for you to decide. So again, comparing yourself to others, it's a more, more of a distraction than a good thing. And keep that in mind. So that's it for today. Um, if Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and until next time, stay interesting.